Ask Me Anything. It's been a while. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Zach with IT Career Questions, and it's been a while since I've done an AMA, Ask Me Anything. And today's AMA is from Infinity CL, and they asked, I'd like to see a video on how to make your way into IT and how to build yourself up. Can you do a video on that, please? And yeah, I could try to do a video on that. And I've really, quite honestly, done tons of videos on that. That's what this channel is kind of all about, but I could kind of break it down as quickly as I possibly can. Um, make your way in IT. You wanna make your way in IT, and that's you know getting your certs, getting degree, getting experience. So bring kind of all that together um, and maybe get some experience. You can get like some internships, some volunteer work under your belt. Uh, trying to land your first job, I, in my opinion, should always try to be somewhere in help desk because that's going to be, quite honestly, one of the easier jobs to get, no matter what your degree is, no matter what certifications that you have or what kind of experience that you really have just starting out. Because if you're just starting out, you might not really have a lot of experience besides um, you know, just helping some people out or just maybe your internships or volunteer work that you've done. So help desk is gonna be one of the best ways to start and really jumpstart your career. Help desk will literally boost your career no matter what kind of roles you're looking to get into, especially if you have a degree or certifications. So if you have like, uh, you know, your MCSA certifications, MCSE certifications, a CCNA or CCNP, you can start out in help desk and really move your way up really, really quick. But getting yourself into a help desk role really helps because you're learning a business environment, you're really learning how things work, and that's really, really important because things work really differently in a business environment than you would really expect. And from one business environment to another business environment to another business environment, they all work really differently. You know, things function differently. There's a lot of common aspects in every business, but there's a lot of different, you know, policies and things that that make a lot of stuff work a lot different. So it's really important to understand how business environments work. And then, yeah, like I said, you can move your way up really quick, no matter what. If you have the drive, the motivation, um, the ability to learn things quickly, and the want, the want to learn things quickly, and just to go out of your way to learn things, you know, study on your own, go out on YouTube, uh, learn new things, go out and get more certifications. And, you know, if you going into the, you know, the degree path, go out and get more degrees. You know, if that's something that you really want to do, always bettering yourself will always make your career better. I mean, that's literally the truth. Uh, anything that you could do to give yourself more of an advantage will always help you out in the long run. That's literally like so clear and obvious, but you might not really know that and understand that, but if you can go out and get more certs, study for the certs, and um, put yourself into scenarios at work, you know, say you're help desk and you want to get into networking and uh, you're working the help desk, you have a networking team or a networking person, you say, hey, I'm really interested in this. Is there any way that I can shadow you for a little bit or shadow you one day a week, shadow you for an hour a day or something like that, just so I can understand kind of what you're doing in that workflow and start getting some of that experience in that networking field. It'll be really helpful for you, and you can use that on your resume. Anything that you can do in you know, your current job, your current position to leverage onto your resume is extremely, extremely helpful. Uh, no matter if you're doing that you know, a few times a week, a few times a month, having any type of that experience that you can really put onto your resume will help you move forward in your career. But you need to know um, you know, if you, if you have that experience, you know, if you're using that experience on your resume, you really need to make sure that you know what you're talking about. So if you are looking to go that networking route, like kind of like what we talked about and you're shadowing this person one day a week or whatever, and then you want to go out and get into a networking role and you land that job in a networking role, you really need to make sure that you know what you're doing in a networking position. So it's really, really important you guys. Uh, you know, make sure that you understand what you're doing, you know, so there's, there's a lot to it. So uh, building yourself up, that's, I've kind of answered all that. I've kind of all thrown all this into 
one kind of quick answer, uh, the best that I possibly could, I hope, um, you know, uh, making your way into IT, building yourself up. Um, I hope that kind of answers it. Um, if, if it doesn't, I've done literally tons of videos on this kind of very topic. So I'll try to find those. If not, you guys can search this channel, search IT career questions on there's playlists and stuff. And there'll be videos that'll kind of give you lots of uh, guidelines and what you need to do to do certain things to boost your career, boost your education, boost your knowledge and things like that. So hope this video is helpful. I hope it was short enough. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. So as always, take it easy.